praise the Most High today, family. Hallelujah. Praise him. He's, he's worthy. <clears throat> he's worthy. I was just finishing up for today, family, and I heard in my ruach real loud. What are you here for? What are you here for? You, what are you here for? You, what are you here for? I said, uh oh, I better stop and um get this idea in. And then I, I got here, family, to the park, and the most I whispered this in my ear. Occupy till I come. I said, uh oh. Now I know from being in ROTC that occupy is a military word <clears throat> as well as a civilian word, but he meant military when I heard him this evening. Let's let's get the script, pardon me. I hope everyone is well again this evening. We had an earlier idea today. We had to come back this evening to get one in. Like I said, the most I just put this in my heart. What are you here for? And the script is Luke 19 and 13. Well, I hope everyone is still well today. <laughs> now I'm trying to get this script in. It's in my heart. And that you are able to get out and enjoy this day like I am. Or have been able but I hope your day isn't complete like mine is. Even though our work is done, our day is just getting started. Praise the Most High. It's the best time of the day. After you got, got your work done, time to go home and get some vittles in your system, and rest, relax. Get that body back ready for the next day. And occupy means to reside or have one's place of business in a building or in a place or in one's heart praise the most high does the most high occupy your heart today mm -mm. it means to be established or to establish oneself in to feel to preoccupy the mind with thoughts and also, like we said in the military sense, let's get this idea in. It means to take control of a place, especially a country, a nation, or kingdom, by military conquest or settlement. Uh-oh. They said by a military conquest. That means, family, we're, we're um, doing exploits for the king. One text says great exploits, if I'm not, not mistaken. <clears throat> Let's look that up. And it says, the, the people that know their Elohim shall be strong and do exploits. So, family, that's what he means by what, what are you here for? You should be carrying out great exploits for the Most High. Let me grab this script. <clears throat> Pardon me. For my notes. Hallelujah. What are you here for? We're not going to belinger this idea as it said. It would take too long on the idea. But I want us to ask ourselves that question today, family. Thank you, Father. And as, as he, get, after he gave me the idea, he said, Are you just feeling space? Oh boy, mm -mm -mm. are you just feeling space? Oh boy, what a sad song, family. And that used to be me. Family, I ain't have a thing in the world to live for. I ain't had no kind of motivation. Mm -mm -mm. All I was doing was getting high, chasing tail, selling dope, and doing it all over the world. Mm -mm -mm. But the most I saw a way to get so fit to get me out of that mess. Yes, he did. He rescued me and put me on a righteous path. That don't, that don't mean I was A-OK -okay from that moment on. Because I was still making mistakes. But he got me out of the situation I was in of that life of selling dope. And once I was done, I was done, son. That was a horrific lifestyle, family, I tell you the truth. 
It's a trap. And a lot of times folks can't get out of it. I remember one time, fam, I was so dope all night long. And that whole weekend, it was around the first of the month. And so dope all that night, the final night, I bought plenty of dope and sold it all. And was in there half sleep. And messed around and went to sleep. <laughs> oh boy. In a crack house, family. And had my runner stole my money. And went on a mission. And that was pretty much it for me. After that, I said, I'm done with this. Because I couldn't touch him like I wanted to. <laughs> oh boy. And I shouldn't talk like this, but it's the truth. I couldn't get him like I wanted to. And he knew it because he was, um, what's the word? Affiliated? No gang mess, but he was just affiliated with the right family. And it would have been really dangerous for me to touch him. <laughs> oh boy. Even though his family knew how he was. And the other option, I could have went to them and said, well, such and such got me for such and such. I don't want to hurt him, but I need mine back. They, they would have been like, well, you know how he is. We can't look out for him. I mean, we can't take responsibility for him. You knew what he would do. But see, just like me and him at them, that time, family, we was um, taking us space. And filling a space that shouldn't have been filled in our community. Selling dope to our people. Poison. As I now come to understand and realize. See back then family. You just as blind as everybody else. Because you're chasing your own dope. <clears throat> well, hallelujah. The most I delivered me from all that mess family. <clears throat> from getting high. Praise the most high family. Chasing weed. Chasing blow. Nose candy, for those that don't know. Cocaine powder. Put in your nose, snort it. But praise the Most High family. Now, I'm not addicted to nothing but the Most High doing His will. Like I said, doing these exploits for Him. And I consider this an exploit. Every time I get out here and do a recording, this is an ex exploit for the Most High. Because we're fighting the kingdom of darkness. We're trying to bring light to our people. Well, we are bringing light. But it's up to us to be strong, family. Like the text says, be strong and know our Elohim. Mm-mm-mm. Family, what are you talking about? It ain't nothing in the world like knowing the Most High. Knowing your Creator. And doing what He tell you to do. And it gets easier. Every single day, praise the Most High. I just got a um, a comment from our sister Lakeisha Williams. She said the aroma of weed is the cologne. I tell you, it is everywhere, brother. I am feeling the longing for the Messiah's return, trying to occupy and stay in the Ruach. He has work for us to do. What are we talking about, family? Did she say trying to occupy and stay in the Ruach? Hallelujah. Look at that confirmation. Praise the Most High. Ten minutes ago, family. Praise the Most High. Thank you, my sister, Lakeisha Williams, for confirming the Most High's word. What are you here for? <laughs> Praise the Most High. She said trying to occupy and stay in the Ruach. He has work for us to do. And that's the only way to do it. Praise the Most High. Thank you, sister. Because we have to stay in the Ruach HaKadosh. We can't do it on our own, family. See, I was going home. But he said, we got a little more work to do, Bob, Robert. We got a little more work to do. Let's, let's go and get this word in. And I'm going to have my sister confirm it for you. Praise the Most High. So, what are you here for, family? Are you... You doing anything? You just um, taking up space? <clears throat> you know you're, you're occupying something. 
like I was doing back in the day. I was occupying dead space. Mm -mm -mm. I was just feeling a void that if I didn't, somebody else would. And that's the old excuse we used to say out there. If I don't sell it to, to them, that somebody else will. But that's old. Family, it pays to be obedient. And we're going to let that be our time. I appreciate that, my sister. I just beat down and saw my um, alerts lit up. And she came with that confirming word. Praise the Most High today. <laughs> we're going to put that in the recording. Hallelujah. And I thank my other ox and the cotes for the kind comments and words. We're not going to read over them, over them today, but I thank the Most High for profit of Yah, Belena, Yah, Mayala, and Akisha Williams. Thank y'all for chiming in here these last couple of days. And family has meant a whole lot to me, trust me. Because when you're not feeling really motivated physically, it's a great help when you get motivation rockily. And of course, the most high is our motivation. Don't get me wrong, but just like this, this a coach just um, chimed in with, with this confirming word. One more time. We was just talking about that weed too. Wasn't it? The aroma of weed is the cologne. I tell you. It is everywhere, brother, and, and everybody is smoking, and it's a hot mess and shame because they're putting more dope in the dope, <laughs> more dope in the weed than, than the weed that they're smoking. I am feeling the longing for the Messiah's return. Keep occupying, my sister. She said, trying to occupy and stay in the Ruata. He has work for us to do, and we're doing it. We speaking that thing today. We're doing it. And you're doing it just by hitting me up today, fam. Look, Keisha. Seek his face. Continue to seek his face. And be encouraged because you encourage your brother today. Family, do stay up today and ask yourself that question. What am I here for? And what is my occupation? <laughs> oh, oh, what is my occupation? Praise the highest today. Father, what is my occupation today? When I heard um, my ox over there at um, Teo Ministry, they were speaking on this. It was on the Shabbat, but I heard it today. <clears throat> they were saying your only job in this world is to um, please the Messiah, please the Most High. To serve the Most High, I believe they said. Hallelujah. Family, y'all stay up and keep pushing forward in the right direction with the Most High. Boy, that has motivated my Ruach today. Thank the Most High. He's so good to his family. See how he blesses our obedience? Let's us know we're right on track in line with him. Shalom, hallelujah.